Hey friends, it's Amy Dunn, the Keto Queen. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day outside, a beautiful day. We're having family dinner tonight, and guys, we are pulling out all the stops. I'm doing some ribeyes for all of the family, and we're going to have just a great day of rest, relaxation, and family time. So guys, I hope you have big plans for Sunday. It's my birthday month. It's my birthday month, and I used to, years ago, celebrate the entire month for my birthday, and I thought, you know what? I think I need that this month. I think I needed a whole month of celebration. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Every single weekend, we've got some type of plan to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to be 47, guys, on November the 21st. Isn't that crazy? So on the 23rd, we already have plans for a big uh, crab leg bowl. So we're going to have crab legs and shrimp and all the great things because I love seafood. I love crab legs. Me and my mom both do. And today, we're going to have some steaks. So I just want to show you really quickly how I marinate my steaks. Like, it is the most easiest thing. I know you guys have your own secret marinade sauces, so I would love to know how you marinate in the in the comments. So if you have a favorite marinade for steaks, put them in the comments real quick. I forgot one thing I gotta grab out of the freezer, and that is my garlic. So you have to have some really good minced garlic for your steaks now. Y'all know I love some garlic. I think I have a bag already open. So you have to have some good garlic, right? So let me go ahead and show you what I do. As you jump on, I would love to know where you're watching from and if you're new to my page. If you're new, in the comments say, I'm new here. And guys, if you're looking to change your diet to a more low carb or even keto, I would love to help you get started. If you want some getting started tips, put getting started in the comments. And I'm gonna send you some tips, guys, that I started using back in 2018 and I still follow it today for long-term success. So guys, really quickly, I start my marinade with a little bit of Worcestershire. I mean, I'm, I marinate both sides of the steak and then I flip them about every hour or so. So we're just gonna put on some marinade, I mean, some Worcestershire and look at all these steaks. Like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steaks today because we're feeding a few people <laughs> to celebrate my birthday month. All right, so we've got some Worcestershire, and then I like to use some Allegro. I love Allegro. Now, I used to, back in the day, just slather this on, and I mean, we would just sit it in a bag of Allegro for the entire day. Now, I really just like just a little bit, and you really don't need a whole lot. So we just pour a little bit over the steaks. Again, I like to flip these about every hour or so. I got a mess. All right, and then we've got a couple of seasonings. So simple. We've got garlic powder. So we're just gonna, and you heavily, heavily season now. You don't wanna hold back. We're seasoning with our heart. So you look at it and say, hmm, looks good, but I bet it could look better. So we just put some garlic powder and then some onion powder. So let me pour on my onion powder. We're fixing to flip them and do the other side. And then I like to flip them about every hour or so. And I like to keep mine out of the fridge. So we're gonna put some aluminum foil over this and just keep them out of the fridge until I get ready to throw them on the grill. And then we've got our minced garlic. So let me get my garlic press. Now, unfortunately, I didn't take these out of the freezer just a second, so it might be a little hard. Oh, Sherry needs some recipe ideas. Well, Sherry, you are in the right place. I love to share recipes. I love to cook for you guys. I love to give simple, delicious recipes. And this week's grocery haul is so easy. I'm gonna be posting that in just a little while. All right, so we've got our garlic. We're just gonna press it onto one of the steaks and then I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna use my, if I can press it, it's frozen. If I can uh, use my fingers, I'm just gonna spread it over some of the gar some of the other steaks. I got my garbage right here beside me. Garbage plate ready. I'm gonna do some more. If you have a favorite marinade, I would love to know what it is. Like this is just so easy and it makes your steaks absolutely delicious. Now there's one last thing I do to my steaks and that is when I cook them, I'm just gonna press some more out. When I cook them, I like to cook them and then when they're almost done, I put a blue cheese garlic butter, mm, blue cheese garlic butter right over the top so that they finish that grilling with a little bit of garlic butter. And then you can also slice it and then put it over your steak when it's finished. I love a good steak topping. Sometimes I do onions. Sometimes I do onions and mushroom. And then other times I just do a blue cheese garlic. So I'm going to show you what I'm using for that. I mean, so easy. All right, let me do a couple more for this other pan. 
Now I'm only going to put garlic on one side of these steaks because I already have garlic powder. And as much as I love garlic, my mom is not hu a huge fan. So we're just going to do a little bit of garlic on uh, these steaks because I already have garlic powder. So I'm fixing to show you how I make my blue cheese butter sauce. <coughs> this is frozen. It's so hard to press. I should have let them sit out for a second, but I totally forgot. <coughs> All right. There we go. I love to buy fresh, already peeled, ready-to-go garlic, and I put them in the freezer. This is my mother-in-law's idea she gave me a little while ago. We just put these in the freezer, take them out, and use them as needed. Now, if you let them set for a second, they're easy to press. Now, I'm just going to take this garlic and just uh, sm smear it over these uh, steaks, just sharing it with each one. And then, like I said, we're going to flip this every about every hour until I get ready to grill it later. And we're fixing to flip these over to put the sauce on the other side. The only thing I'm not going to do is put more minced garlic. So if you missed it, I'm fixing to do it again. And if you're new here and you would like those getting started tips, just put getting started in the comments. And myself or Haley will send you those getting started tips. Again, I started these back in 2018, still following the same tips today. It is so simple to really change your, your eating style if you keep things simple. That's the trick is just keeping things simple. If you make your life complicated, it's going to be complicated, right? And who wants complication? We have enough stressors in life. Who wants to stress over what you're going to eat and what you're going to cook? Not me. I keep things super simple. Let me wash my hands, and then we're going to season this other side. So on the other side, we're going to do the exact same. I've got a little bit of Allegro, so we're just going to put a little bit of Allegro. And then when we flip these, of course, we're flipping it in this sauce. Just a little bit of Allegro. That's way too much, actually. Did too much. It's all right. All right, and then we got some Worcestershire. We're going to put on some Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. Now we've got our onion powder, and we're just going to season with our heart. We're just looking at this seasoning. Does it look good? Ooh, yes, it does. It looks good. All right, and then we got our garlic powder. We put minced garlic, fresh minced garlic on one side of the steaks. And as we flip these in our seasonings, that garlic's going to be really looking. Oh, my gosh, these just look amazing. I mean, guys, does this not look delicious? I mean, that's all you have to do. You can make your own marinade. Not expensive at all. These are like 89 cents at the grocery store. Onion powder, garlic powder, Worcestershire, and a little bit of Allegro. All right, now let me move these over out of my way just a second. I want to, well, actually, I'm just going to leave them here because I want to show you the two ingredients I use to make the butter. Let me just find them because I haven't unpacked my groceries yet. I've got garlic herb butter that's already in the package ready to go. Kerrygold garlic herb butter. You just sit it on the counter, let it get soft. And then we have a container of blue cheese crumbles. That's it. So I just let this get soft. soft. I open it up and I put it on a piece of parchment paper. So just let this get soft. Take your fork and mash it to make like a, a, a mashed up butter. And then we're going to take the blue cheese as much as you want. And we're going to put the blue cheese on top of the butter using that fork, just smashing it together. That's it. And you fold it up in your parchment paper. It's just a thin layer of butter. And then while we're cooking, we're going to slice a couple of pieces to put over the steaks as it's searing on the grill. And then if you want extra afterwards for a steak topping, you can slice you another piece and put it right on top of your steak. So it's a garlic blue cheese of butter that I love to cook my steaks with. So guys, it's so easy. You don't have to complicate it at all. Just let these babies sit. Set a timer for every hour or so to flip them until you're ready to go. And I like to keep mine out of the fridge. So we're gonna just uh, top it off with some aluminum foil so nothing gets in it. And we're just gonna flip it about every hour. So guys, I hope you're having a great, great, great weekend. I'll come back live in just a little while because we do have <laughs> Our 25% off sale of ketones that ends tonight. So it's like last call. Make sure you grab your ketones. If you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and you're already a customer, you can grab them 25% off today or you can even get them up to 31% off if you're already in our VIP program at 25. So guys, I'm so excited to share that with you in just a little while, but I got to unpack my groceries. 
I got to clean up this kitchen a little bit before my family comes over and we're just going to have a great afternoon together. So I hope you have big plans for your family as well and I'll see you all guys soon. Bye.